Hello, hello, what's up, friends? Hello, guys. This is Jorge. And this is Viv. And welcome to the JV Show. So uh, this week is actually kind of different. So we're doing a backup episode. Whenever we get busy, we can throw this episode on. Yeah, so if you guys hear this, you know that this week we're a little bit busy. Yeah, and also we record this sometime in March. This might not air till May. I think May would be the latest it would air because that's when I'm gone. Uh, Mm, But... We might have, a, like, when we have time, we'll probably do another one of these so we can have some backup ones so you guys always have content every single week. Yeah, we're dedicated to you guys to hear that. Yep, so we'll make this as timeless as possible, not related to our weeks or what we do, so, you know, we won't say about, oh, you know, I just hurt my finger, and then people are like, <laughs> I literally just saw you, what are you talking about, or something like that, right? Uh, so this week, we're going to do tier lists. Uh, we just went through a couple of tier lists, and we think these ones are going to be good. So we're going to start with a nice, easy chud one. This is going to be the ultimate fruit tier list. So if you go on tier list, uh, tiermaker.com, ultimate fruit, I'll also put the link down below so you guys can do this tier list yourself. We'll also post this on Instagram so you guys can see our tier list at the end. Uh, this is my first time seeing this. This is Viv's first time seeing this. So we have no idea what the result's going to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm just gonna fiddle around with some screens and stuff so we can get started. Viv, does that look good? That's Gucci, my. All right, we're gonna start with green apple. Green apple. How do you feel about green apple, Viv? I think green apples are kind of tart, and I like literally never. Oh, you you don't like sour, them. right? Yeah, I don't. Really oh, like we're gonna be so conflicted here. So good. if I had to pick, I'll go green apple over red apple. Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, I like... I'm very picky about my apples, too, though. I only eat one kind of apple. Oh, actually, I have or a story... maybe two. I'll say two. I have a story uh, about apples. So, um, in junior high, I was a bit of a chubby kid, and I thought it'd be a great idea to eat nothing but fruits for, like, three months and see how that goes. Where were your parents? <laughs> Uh, they're just like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, my, uh, my parents are Buddhist, so my mom's like, oh, yeah, vegetables and fruits. Yeah, those are really good for you. Uh, so... I ate an apple every single day for like three, four months. And then I hated apple for like five years after that. Wait, was that like all you ate? No, no, no. I had like oranges and other fruits oh, too. I ate um an Asian pear every single day from junior high to high school. Did you hate Asian pear after? Oh, I still love Asian oh, pears. But I'm somebody who has like an addictive personality. So it's very on brand with everything else that I could say. Yeah, it, this that experience definitely ruined apples for me. Um, and it's worse because I have an apple tree at home. And then because we have like a shrine for like the Buddhist praying and stuff, we have apples every day because uh, here in Edmonton, apples are actually pretty cheap. Mm-hmm. And whenever you put new fruits on the shrine, you have to put like the best and the newest fruits, right? Mm-hmm. You can't put any of the old stuff. So my mom will always buy apples. Mm-hmm. So we have way too many apples. We ha- I think one time in summer, we gave a drawer full of apple to, to Joyce. Yeah. And within three weeks, that drawer was full again. Jesus Christ. And I was like, dude, you guys got to stop buying drawer? apples. <laughs> How big is this drawer? Like a fridge drawer? Like, a, yeah, one of those oh, fridge drawers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot That's of fucking a apples. apples. Yeah. Uh, so, but if I were to put green apple, I would say it's um, it's somewhere in the B tier. Okay, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah, it's B tier. Uh, I like green apple more than red apple. I like the sourness. But I also think maybe for like apple pies, is green apple better? I actually don't know. Granny Smith is the best oh, for baking. Oh, Granny Smith. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Uh, next one, red apple, right next to the green apple. How do you feel about that? I guess there's so many different apples. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that they there's went so to. many different apple types, and honestly, I only like two because of they're like a nice mixture of sweet and crunchy and crisp. Because some of them are too soft, in my opinion, and some of them just aren't sweet enough. But they have more apple flavor, and the balance is just all off. So I only eat gala apples and Fuji apples. Ooh, Fuji apples are good. Yeah, that I won't lie. And um, if it was those ones, then I would say maybe A. A okay. Well, um, I would yeah, say a high B. It's so hard because red apple has so many different yeah. uh, varieties. I I could put it on A. Low A, high B. Wait, what's your most hated apple? Everything else sucks shit. I hate red delicious. Oh, red delicious is pretty bad. It's so like it's too soft. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like it's like there's no that. It tastes like, like it kind of went bad or anything. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have that crunch, right? Mm-hmm. The nice mm-hmm. crunch. Like I think green apple always has that crunch. Yes, always. And uh, Fuji apples always have always, that crunch. Yes, yes, and. It's not just the crunch. I feel like when you get that crunch, juiciness. yeah, it it, it kind of exhibits that juiciness to it. Yeah, they're delicious. It's just mushy, and not that juicy. Yeah. All right. What would you rate apricot? Oh, you say apricot? I was gonna get. I was gonna ask if you say apricot or apricots. Uh, let's see what Google says. Which one? Which way do Canadians say it? 
Is there a Canadian version? Apricot. I mean, I'm guessing one is British and one is Canadian or apricot. Oh, oh, That's it's British. 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 And then American is America. Oh, I say apricot. America. Uh, yeah, I say apricot. Damn. There's no reason for that A to be, um, like, do you say avocado? Maybe I do. Or you <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Like the placement of that letter yeah, doesn't, yeah. doesn't make me feel like it should be it's, a... It's like apricot. A. Um, I don't eat apricots a lot, but every single time I see that they're dried, I'm always like, ooh, I tried apricot. And then I eat it and I'm like, oh, it's not as good as I think it would be. But it's not bad. It's like a B maybe. Really? Okay. Actually, I don't mind putting a B. Um, I would actually put it maybe higher than green I would apple. Too. And I think we're a little skewed here. Like being in the northern hemisphere or farther up in the northern hemisphere, we don't get this type of fruit as often. So it feels more like a delicacy to us. Yeah. It's, it's like, oh, like this is a bit more expensive. We can only get it while it's in season for a reasonable price. So then we don't have it as often. So it feels more special to us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the case. Uh okay, next one. Evil cattle. Evil cattle. Thanks. Uh I mean, I, I personally think it's an S-tier fruit. Yeah, S-tier. Because it has avocados. such good fats. And good fats. If you want anything creamy, you're checking macros, you just cut open avocado, take like yeah. a third of it. But it's solid for all your fats of the day, though. <laughs> but I feel like avocado is similar to how I feel about when people say tomato is a fruit. It's like, it is, but I don't eat it like a fruit. I eat it like like almost like a vegetable, right? I eat it like as be, because it's because it's not sweet. I eat it like with my savory food. Kind of, sup- you eat it with savory food. Oh, wait, like yeah, yeah. avocado toast yeah, or guacamole or um. Actually, I don't know. Like even like fried eggs. I'm with surprised avocado. if you're eating amaki, then a lot of Vietnamese people like to eat avocados like it's a fruit, or you sprinkle sugar on it and you just eat it like a spoon. I've never eaten that before. Really? I've or been to Vietnam. Even, I've you, never you, like, seen anyone. Chop up like the that. avocado and you put you like put it in a bowl. And you put ice in it and then you put like condensed milk and you just mix it up until it gets like kind of watery and you just eat it like that. I've been to Vietnam. I've never seen anyone do that before. Shit, really? In my okay, life. maybe this is... Maybe it's a Laos Thai yeah, thing or something. <laughs> I get those things uh, mixed up. But I thought it was really Yeah, nice. but it's good. I do love S-tier avocado. Sure, though. I also think like lately it's been cheaper and cheaper. Yes. Like it, like there was a period of two years where like avocado it was, was like, a craze. Shit. It was and, like almost $2 yeah, each at one point. But then or now it feels like it's so cheap. It's like okay, okay. what is it so cheap? I mean, it's just a lot more available. Yes, yes, I agree. Uh, banana. Ooh, I have this weird thing with bananas that I can only eat them at a certain time of like the when day, f- or else they feel fucking weird. What do you mean, it's certain just, time of the day? Like it makes me feel weird. Oh, like I can't eat it first thing in the morning. I can't eat it late at night. It has to be like sometime in the afternoon, and specifically if I'm about to do some something. Because it reminds you of dick, so you can't eat it in the morning and at <laughs> night or something. What do you mean? That means you eat it all day. But then, like, <laughs> specifically, I think it's because I usually will only buy bananas to eat when I'm going on, like, hikes or certain trips like that. Mm, I see. Or, like, before an exam or before I'm about to do something, you just need some instant nourishment, you know? So I can't eat it casually for some reason. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I eat bananas every day. I eat one every day yeah. uh, for the potassium. But how, what do you feel about the color? What do you mean color? Like when do I eat it? Like some people can't eat it if there's like a speck of brown on it. Or oh, I eat like it that. when it's speckled brown. Oh yeah. So I'm okay with anything. Like nice good amount of freckles. Yeah. I'm, I'm good with anything with uh, still a bit of green all the way to a, still a bit of brown. Oh really? Like I'm actually pretty close to the part point when people won't eat anymore and I'll still be like, okay, fine. I'll just fucking eat yeah. it. I will uh, wait till I see some black marks on it. And then that's oh. like perfect. No, I have to eat every, like I eat one every day and, or at least every day during the week, week weekday. And I don't know, it's just one of the things where I'm like, okay, it's good potassium. It's good for you. I feel mm-hmm. like it's the ultimate super fruit snack where it's like, you it's don't, like you don't have to wash it. You can, it's yeah. easy on the go. Uh, but unfortunately, if you put it wrong in your bag, it bruises way too easily. Oh, yeah. And it gets mushy and yeah. you're fucked. Yeah, that's fucked. Like, as soon as it gets mushy, you're like, oh, fuck, this just ruined it. Yeah. If you catch it at the perfect point of ripeness, though, where it's like kind of firm, but it's still sweet, yes. it doesn't have that like unsweetened banana flavor, which is what I feel like I taste when there's still some green in it. Yeah. That's the perfect point. But, but the issue is, how often can you really get that? What do you mean? You just wait for it to be ripe, right? Uh, I guess, but if you if you treat it like an on the go snack, I feel like oh, you true. don't hit that point all the it's time. True. 
All right, like like Mondays, my bananas are like pretty green. By Friday, my bananas are pretty brown. Did you know in Korea they have these packs? I think Japan has them too. They have these packs of bananas. Yes. Where they like sort them out from like ripest to unripest, so that your bananas essentially ripen as the week goes by, <laughs> and they don't all ripen at the same time at the same rate. Wait, isn't so it you're, true? Like, set to go. Isn't it true if you have a pack of like six, as soon as you take one out, the rest will start getting more ripe faster. If you don't cover the oh uh, the top the right. Top oh, one, I yeah. see. I see. Uh, I would say it's a high A for me, to be honest. I would. Yeah, I would say it's high A only because it's so portable, so convenient. Also say high A. I was gonna almost rank it A S, but it feels I'll like a superfood. Yeah, there's 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 some out here that I would for sure rank it as as so I I, I wouldn't go straight to that. All right, all, right. all right, black berries. I fuck with berries so much. I yes. freaking love berries. I eat berries so much. Antioxidants are really good for you guys. So yeah, blackberries. I I always do the put it in your hand. Rinse it under the sink and just stuff them all. Yeah, just stuff it all in your mouth. Um, but I think actually less so on blackberries. I'm gonna say blueberries. I hate it. Like as soon as it gets a little bit mushy, it's dead to me. Oh yeah, me too. It's like oh, this is shit. I like I love the burst. Like when you bite into it, it bursts in your mouth. I agree. Um, but I would put like both blackberries and blueberries. Oh fuck, somewhere in H. I feel like this high A. I think. I I feel like it would be above banana. For me, blackberries would be lower A because I just don't eat them that often. And if I look at them for long enough, they kind of gross me out. How about blueberries? Blueberries are S tier for me. S tier. Okay, I can put a high A for you. Um, but I'm not gonna put S tier. How about I put at the very highest at A right now? What's with this right now? How about this right now? Okay. So right now we got S tier, got avocado, uh, A tier is blueberry, then banana, then blackberry, then red apple. Sounds Gucci. Okay, black currant. I actually don't really remember what this is. Or I th- I've only ever had black currant as a f- like juice, and it's not bad. Oh, are these like super sour? No. Oh, black currant, black currant. I did say so. It's like I feel like I've eaten it before, but. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like cranberry juice, but mixed with berry flavorish. Is it not sour? Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's kind of sweet. Like it's tart. Okay, I'm gonna put this but in. I'm just gonna this throw sweet. this into like B or C sure. tier. I would say high C, low B. Okay, I'm just let's just throw a C tier. Right. We're not that familiar with it. It's kind of just eh. I'm very meh about melons. I don't like the oh, aftertaste of melons. Oh. I don't want to say I don't like it. It's just not the best. Like, I think almost every single other fruit, when you eat it, you're like, mm, it's sweet. But for some reason, the smell of melons, it smells too artificial to me. And I don't like artificial sweetness. But it's real. <laughs> I know. But the sweetness in cantaloupes and honeydew and any other melon, aside from watermelon, smells like the same as the artificial one. So I don't like it that much. Okay. Here's, like I'll eat it. Here's but my th- I'll never pick it out. Ever. Here's my thoughts towards melon. If you're very thirsty, like after a workout or after anything, watermelon is top tier. But very short below would be pineapple, honeydew, and cantaloupe. Especially when you want to quench a thirst. I think the melons are the best for thirst quenching. They're so juicy. Uh, But I also won't put cantaloupe that high. I would actually put it like either probably B tier in my opinion. Interesting. I would put it C or D. All right, I'll put low. I'll put okay. Let's start with cancel. We'll we'll, we'll put that lower B. How about right, that? Right. Or actually, I I wouldn't mind putting this even high C right now. All right, sure. Um, I, I'm actually I'm more of a fan of honeydew over cantaloupe to to be honest. Oh really? I'm yeah. cantaloupe over honeydew. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, next, <laughs> coconut. I love coconut. I love coconut smell. I love like I the think scent of coconut. Coconut, I like the taste of coconut. coconut is S tier, hundred percent. I think it's sure. I okay. W- when this when this tier list expands, it's definitely gonna be a low S tier for me, but it's still S tier for me. I bought this coconut opening mallet thing where it's like it comes in two parts. One's a proper fucking mallet, yeah, and the other one is a circular knife, essentially a circular blade. You put the it's like a ring, yeah, a ring blade, and you put it on top and use the mount to hit it, and it cuts open a perfect circle. Oh, wow, what a waste! Uh, it's beautiful. What a fucking I waste. love coconuts, and I bought uh, these uh, straws that, if you want, if you don't want to open the coconut that way, you could just pierce it with the straw because the straw is like pointy at the did end. Did I tell you a story? Uh, my dad told me about coconuts. Uh, he said that in uh, in most Asian countries, when you go to a place, they and, have sugar. Yeah. So oh, they I take heard. a needle of sugar water and they inject it into the coconut to guarantee it's 
sweet yeah i heard that too yeah so my dad was like yeah that's what like that's how they can guarantee it is that before they even bring it there they've already injected sugar to all all the coconuts yeah i was like heard that damn so i mean that's why i usually don't get like a fresh coconut but Mm -hmm. it is a treat even Uh, the frozen ones they have sugar and if you read the ingredients mm, they already have sugar yeah Yeah. but i think for me coconuts s tier is because one the meat is so delicious Um, delicious and it's super healthy for you and it's versatile because you can use coconut milk in like so much cooking like and so many chess yeah yeah so a a lot of desserts and a lot of like different cooking Mm. i think coconut's super versatile i love it um but the one thing i don't like is dried shaved coconut like the like the 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 shaved ones shredded or shaved uh shredded shredded yeah oh what i love desiccated coconut i i I hate it because it gets like stuck all over your mouth and it's just like i don't know it's just weird the shredded ones i don't like because they're just crispy and dry and they don't really taste like anything well it it, like it dries up your mouth it feels like when you you salivate enough well you know what maybe i'm not that thirsty all right all right well we'll put coconut there for now all right next cherry i fuck with cherry quite a bit i would put cherry even over blueberry really i know people are annoyed of the pit but i have like a a story with it so when we were younger uh we went camping a lot because you know that's what poor families do when they uh when they go on vacation let's say oh my god that makes so much sense i went camping so much (laughs) yeah me too we always went we always went camping i just thought it was a great thing i didn't associate it with Uh, anything else campsite's only what like 20 30 bucks a night a hotel is a couple hundred damn i didn't didn't think Uh, of it that way (laughs) yeah but anyways uh i remember being in Kelowna. i was so fortunate to go camping all the time i mean (laughs) i mean i have the camping experience now but that's also why i don't like camping now oh i love camping. Uh, i still don't enjoy it i was like i like a bed and i like a shower um but anyways, mm-hmm. for me, when we went camping in cher- uh, in Kelowna, um, I think if you're in season, you can go cherry picking. And cherry picking is so fun because you eat like so much so much cherries while you're picking it. I have a picture of myself as a kid when I drove the tractor to go cherry picking Kelowna. Damn. Yeah. But the best part is like you're literally like your whole mouth is red because you eat like your whole stomach full of cherries. And it's so nice when you're cherry picking on a farm because you just spit the speeds, the seeds everywhere. You're like, I don't give a fuck, right? Because yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's cherry trees here, right? So who the fuck cares? Um, and also it can kill people. So that's kind of cool. Wait, is it cherries? Yeah, cyanide. The, yeah, the cyanide, right? Well, yeah, cherries but, and apples, apricot. But I think... Or no, not apricot. Cherry's a bit more because the seed's bigger than the apple, right? So yes. there's more of it. Definitely. So that's why I would say it's a top A tier because it's very versatile. And um, I have a, like, I think we both have good memories with cherries. Oh, I was going to actually say, so I have this, growing up, I ate a shit ton of cherries because I would go to Kelowna and BC a lot and do yeah. those cherry pickings like every single summer. Yep. And eventually one day I kind of just decided I don't like cherries. Oh, okay. Well, it's. So then I avoided eating cherries for like. Since like, I don't know, elementary school, junior high, up until maybe two years ago. Yeah. And then I tried it again. I tried it because somebody bought it. And then I was like, oh, no, I don't actually like cherries. And then I, tr- but I still tried one. And I realized I actually really like cherries. It's good, right? But I have this stigma in my brain still yeah. that tells me that I don't like it. But I know I like it. Yeah, but- it's... um. Some are like racism and prejudice. Yeah, it's like racism, exactly. <laughs> you fuck. I'm like, oh, a cherry? Yeah, I don't like it. But uh, if it's in my mouth, I'm like, mm. Okay, so <laughs> we're a little split. I think you would probably put in B. I would put in A. I'm yeah. just going to leave it here. All right. Um, I think it's... Let's move it lower A. Okay, let's move it one lower than blueberry. All right. But I still prefer it over bananas and stuff. All right, sure. Uh, cranberries. I don't eat many of the actual berry, like cranberries. It's usually like cranberry juice or like cranberry sauce Mm -hmm. but the actual cranberry i don't really eat that many of yeah me neither but during thanksgiving there has to be cranberry sauce yes if you go to ikea and you get the meatballs i have to get the lingonberry which isn't the same as cranberry but it's like tastes pretty much so when i was younger i think growing up in an asian family like you're not you're not too used to like a sour sweet thing with your like savory food I mean, my family's really whitewashed. Cause yeah, like we had cranberries like all the time. Yeah, for us, like cran- cranberry sauce and turkey was a weird thing. It was like turkey and gravy makes sense. Like, why the fuck are you putting cranberry mm-hmm. sauce on? That? But then, as I grow up, I do enjoy that mix now. Uh, unfortunately, cranberry as a fruit, I would probably put like lower B or high C. I agree because I only eat it with like yeah. IKEA meatballs or turkey. Actually, I might even put it lower than cantaloupe in my opinion. When I was growing up during Thanksgiving. I didn't know what was specifically Thanksgiving food aside from turkey and mashed potatoes. Yeah. Because my family would also make papaya salad. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like other Vietnamese dishes and some Laotian dishes and like chow chow ho and stuff like that. So I thought everyone did that. Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe when I was little, I thought everyone, but not really. I feel like school drills into you what you should eat for Thanksgiving. So I knew it was like mashed potato, turkey, oh and stuffing. Like yeah. that I knew for sure. But we we never ate that. We I never ate like actual, we never had a whole turkey at home for like the longest time. Do you know when you're in elementary school, they make you draw that that horn that has all the fruit that comes out of it? Oh, yeah, 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 yes, I thought everyone had those at Thanksgiving, every single Thanksgiving, like, I would, whenever we would have Thanksgiving, I'd be like, man, we're not fucking white enough to have this fucking horn with the fruit, I bet that horn's made out of bread, that tastes really good, but then, like, obviously growing up, I found out, like, no one really has that, ever. I always thought that horn was a croissant. Yeah, like something like <laughs> that, like a right? Giant croissant. Looks fucking good. Um, but no, yeah, no, I never had that either. It was fucking weird. Anyways, moving on. Dates. I'm. I. Like I, dates. I, I you love dates. I don't fuck with dates. Really? I mean, so the only time I ever eat dates is when it's in soup. Like my mom say, would make yeah, some like when, Chinese soup with that's dates when I in eat it, it, and I love it. And I'm kind of just like, eh, this is kind of gross. What? I uh, specifically picked them out to eat in soup. I mean, I you want to put B? Sure. All right, let's put like mid B or high B. Uh, wherever. All right, mid B. I personally don't fuck with dates. I, I I really want to experience like um Middle Eastern food or like Middle Eastern cuisine where they have like the Arabic coffee dates, with the dates, dates and then and all like those. I I, I want to try that. that I feel like so that good. that might change my experience because right now my experience is always skewed with all these like weird random Chinese soups what, with but dates and all. So good. Okay, next time I make a soup. And I have dates and I'm bringing you in. Uh, like usually the best part of the soups that my parents make that are like Asian soups, like the healthy ones, mm-hmm. are like if there's any meat, that's the best. Or if there's any like leafy vegetables. Don't worry. My soups are bomb. Uh, and they like, make super, super good soups. Like does your parents also put like nuts in the soup and nuts is all soft and stuff? Uh, like I, cashews or walnuts not or like that. those kind of nuts it's a different oh. kind. I don't know what it's called in English oh okay, okay. Yeah. it's a different kind of nut that I put in it <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of average with that alright next up dragon fruit I like dragon fruit it's not special though to me yeah it's not I that sweet like it. it's, I think it's a it's pretty low on sweet I'll put it like low B tier yeah I would say um, low B. apparently it helps you it's either poop, helps you right? poop or helps yeah. you. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I was gonna say like it's, it either makes you constipate or helps you poop. It's like it's, it's the either <laughs> extreme. does something to your shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I yeah, I'm not. I, I it's not that sweet. It's kind of like it has a very like meh taste. Like it's not. Too, yeah, it's not that strong in flavor. It's not yeah. that sweet, but it's good. Yeah, I don't. A- yeah. Apparently, uh, Joyce was telling me in the Philippines like they have too many. Like they don't give a fuck about their dragon fruits. Oh really? Like yeah. they they just treat it like garbage because they have so many dra- uh, dragon fruit trees and stuff. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. Have you tried the other kinds of dragon fruit, like pink dragon fruit? Yeah, the I red pink's, one pink's and definitely the yellow better. One? Uh, I, I've tried, I think if I were rate, it would be pink, yellow, then white. Uh, mm. I, I like the pink one the most. It's the, it's yeah, the sweetest. Yeah, I, I would say the same. Yeah. Um. Okay, next one. Durian. <gasps> I love Durian's durian. S. I think durian might be like my top, if not second top, but I think it's like high S tier for me yes I fucking love durian okay so for all these um, non-Asian folks out there durian is a very cool fruit it's really stinky to some people but it smells like the bosom of like, gods to others <laughs> you're the asshole of god I mean, like I love durian but I recognize that it smells like shit I, I recognize to, uh, the potential to it's some like it doesn't eggs smell good or garlic and like but it's, raw mangoes or it's like such a good mixture of like savory farts. and sweet smell I don't know I don't know I, it's fucking weird but uh, it's so good. it's really good like so, so if good. you ever have these like durian pastries those are the best um, it's like at dim sum they have mm, it with the yeah. pastry those are really good and uh, no, they're actually durian just raw they, they could be used as a, a, a weapon too so it's pretty versatile yeah 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 and I think for the longest time here, at least in Edmonton, I could we could only get like frozen durian. Yeah, um, but sometimes TNT has. Them. Yeah, yeah. But when you go to Asia, oh, it's none other. It's fucking top tier. If you go to uh, Dream Tea, yeah. they make their durian bubble tea from real durian. Bullshit! How do they afford that? I know, right? What the fuck? They buy the frozen durians from oh, TNT. Okay. okay, yeah, yeah. Like the packaged ones. Yeah. But it's like real frozen durian pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in like the red packaging. Yeah. And then you put one and a bit of it into each bubble Ooh. tea. I love and like 
the seed is so nice because you hold the whole chunk and you eat around you the seed. Put it all in your mouth. Yeah, it's, it's the best. All right, durian's top durian. tier. I think in Thailand, there's. I want to say there's a durian hot pot. I don't oh, think I've is. ever tried it, but I think I've I've and heard it's about so it. So unfortunate that in Thailand, so many hotels ban you from bringing back durian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My uh, I was lucky in Thailand. My my friend's mom just bought it like straight up for us, super fresh. It was so good. Uh, next one's fig. I actually barely eat fig. The only thing I remember of fig oh. is like jam. Like I tried jam. figs for the first time, like a real fresh fig for the first time at our friend. Does he have a uh, alias? I don't know, but like a charcuterie board thing, I'm guessing. Yeah, he made one. Oh, he he's really good at volleyball. Oh, okay. And he's a common listener for our podcast. If you know who I'm talking about, he made a charcuterie board. Oh, and so I tried a fig for the first time. It's definitely not as sweet as I thought it would be, but it's good. It's kind of like a dragon fruit, in my opinion. It's a very muted flavor, but it's sweet. Mm. I would put it somewhere like B or C, C. Yeah. like maybe here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, fig is C tier. I mean, I think it's okay. I feel like we don't have enough experience with it too, and it's just yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's like one of those fancy things to me. It's like, oh yeah, you get fig jam with your sh- with your sh- <laughs> yeah. sugary board. Yeah, that's that. That's and how when you I see think real of it. figs on that. You're like, oh shit! Like, what the fuck is this? Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, next, gooseberry. I don't know what I've gooseberry is. I've never tried gooseberry before. I know it's really tart. Gooseberry. Oh, oh wait. I think I've tried this before. And it's, it's super sour. Oh, wait. Gooseberry. Gooseberry, guys. If you guys know. Yes, I've tried. It's oh, okay. so the sour. The photo that we see here is green. Yeah. But then the yellow one. I've tried the, I, I thought I've the tried, yellow one was called something else. I don't know. But I've definitely tried this and it's so sour. It's the most sour thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, it's really, really sour. Um. Wait, what the fuck? I thought the yellow one was called something else. I can I can open it again. Yeah, it's called Cape Gooseberry. Maybe that's the difference. Mm. But I had definitely have Cape Gooseberry before. Yeah, I've had that one too. Um, that one's really fucking sour. It I think it reminds me of a couple. It's cool to try. I'll put a detour though. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's way too like I love sour food and I think it's way too much. Yeah. Um, it's not enjoyable. It's Gr- like a kumquat to me. Yeah, grapefruit. I hate bitterness outside of tea and coffee. Oh, so you don't like grapefruit at all? So I. I hate grapefruit. Uh, I don't mind grapefruit. Uh, grapefruit juice is pretty good, but I guess that's not real grapefruit. I I I wouldn't mind putting this in D tier. Yeah, um, me too. I think it's all right. I think it's like for some reason for me the bitterness is kind of nice. It's not too overwhelming. Do you like bitterness in anything else? No, I well, I hate bitter melon. Yeah, me too. But this like for grapefruit it feels okay. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because of the like how citrusy it is. It feels better, uh, but it's it's all right. Uh, but I'm I'm fine with putting that D tier. Red grapes. I really like red grapes. Really? But you know what makes great red grapes better? Is if you peel the skin. Oh, you're fucking disgusting. You're one of those people. <laughs> Just fucking eat it. Uh, I don't fuck with red grapes because white grapes generally are seedless. And I don't like the seed. Like the seeds There's are seedless s- red grapes too. Yeah, no, there are. But like green grapes or white grapes are generally always or most of the time is seedless. Oh, yeah. Whereas yeah. red grapes, you have options of seed or seedless. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I will put red grapes like whatever I put red grapes, green grapes definitely have to be higher. I will put red grapes probably like C or B. I, I would put B. I, I used to eat a lot of red grapes. Okay, I'll put it over dragon fruit because I definitely like it better than dragon yeah, fruit. Yeah, me too. Uh, but green grapes, I like green grapes a lot more. I would say green grapes almost A. Yeah, I would put it maybe either before or like after red it's apple. Crunchy and crispy and it's sweet. Um, and then if you put them in the fridge, they're cool. And if you freeze yes. them, they're even fucking better. Okay, the best thing I think is that uh, it's. Like green grapes are easier to put into desserts. What? Like you ever had it like with cake and other stuff? It's oh, yeah. good. It's yeah, good. But yeah. red grapes you don't see that as often. Oh yeah, in Korea yeah. they put green grapes and everything. Yes, yes. So I think gr- green grapes are a lot more versatile and it's seedless, which is really good. And the reason why I think it's better for red grapes if you peel off the skin is because the skin makes the like roof of your mouth kind of Yeah. Gritty or like not smooth. Like, yeah. if you rub your tongue against the roof of your mouth, this is a sensation I really hate. If you rub your tongue against the roof of your mouth when you eat red grapes, if it has the skin on, then it gets kind of, like, it's not as slippery, I guess. And I'm not sure what word I want to use here. But then with white grapes or green grapes, you don't get that sensation. I think So it's fine. You don't need to peel those grapes. I think green grapes is, like, the perfect snack food. Like, if you're, like, watching a show or something and you want to eat some snack food that's crunchy, I feel like green grapes is pretty pretty up there for that. It's not bad. It's one of them. Uh, next one is kiwi. Uh, I'm actually average on kiwi. I think kiwi has a 
it's nothing special to me in my opinion. Green kiwis, I could care less about. I feel like when I was growing up, I would eat, whenever I would smell a green kiwi, it would always be accompanied with like a strawberry, like kiwi strawberry yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah. And I hated it. But if we're talking about golden kiwis, golden kiwis are one of my top all-time favorite fruits. Unfortunately, this is a green kiwi here. All right, that's fine. So I'm going to put it in C tier, somewhere mid C tier. I think But if there was a golden a. kiwi, specifically a golden kiwi, S tier for sure mm. for me. Oh, and for cherries, if there was rainier cherries, S tier for sure. Mm. Okay, you know what? We're going to... I'm very specific with my uh, yeah, breed you know, of fruit. We're going we're gonna to stick to what we have here. <laughs> I mean, there's ground cherry. Is this it? What the fuck is that? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> uh, lemon. Next one's lemon. Ooh. I mean, I wouldn't I, eat. Wait, would you eat it like a like a no. like an orange? Wait, have you ever seen any? Like, have you ever seen one I've peel like peel lemon? Like it looks so it weird. Looks naked. Yeah. Like it looks like I shouldn't see this. It looks like an orange, I but need like to cover yeah. my eyes. My mom's gonna um, hate me for this. I like to cook with lemon. I really love like lemon and lime in my cooking. Yeah, um, me too. But I wouldn't eat this as a fruit. I would never eat it by itself, but I add lemon to like everything. Almost everything. Yeah, like, I would put it like mid B things. because I put it so much in my cooking. Yeah. And even in baking too, it just yeah. refreshes everything. Yeah, like especially if you have anything salty, if you add some lemon on it, oh, mm, it just tastes so much better. Or on salmon or on Ooh. steamed broccoli. Dude, I swear so on almost anything. Good. Anything that's either salty or has fattiness to it, when you yeah. add lemon, it tastes better. Oh my goodness. Delicious. Um, I find that the same with lime, but I don't know. Like, I know people are like, "Oh no, one's basic, one's a sa-. I don't know. Like, to me, lime and lemon, uh, they taste the same to you. No, they don't taste the same. They definitely don't okay, taste the same. But I use them very interchangeably. Really? Yes. I can't. They taste different enough that I can't oh, interchange them. No, I uh, I can interchange them when I cook. I use lemons a lot more, but I think in terms of flavor, I like limes more. If I have an opportunity to use a lime over a lemon. And it's interchangeable. I would always use a lime over lemon. Mm, I see. Yeah. No. I like. I do like lime. I'll, let's I used put to lower drink, um, here. Limeades a lot. Like in the summertime, I would squeeze limes and add condensed milk or sugar and then put shit ton of ice and water, and it tastes so good. I feel like lime. Limeade is like, so good. Lime, ice, water, and like salt or something is a is an Asian drink or something. Oh yeah, like yeah, it is. Yeah. It's it's pretty good. I, I I do like lime. I mean, I use both a lot. Um, I would probably eat a lime rather than a lemon if i had to eat one like yeah as too. is so i saw like laotian cooking uses a lot of limes i mean i feel like a lot of good like mexican cooking uses a lot of limes mm, delicious. um so yeah a lot lychee Ooh, how do you feel about lychee i like lychee is this uh i like it i i don't have it enough i would put it somewhere like a or b if anything's ever lychee's flavor it's to me it's just like fruity I, I think lychee flavored things are like artificial. It feels so much more artificial. Really? I think lychee flavored things are one of the only artificially flavored fruits that I really like still. Oh, okay. Oh, I like, like as much as the fruit itself. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I would put this like high B tier. Yeah, sure. Oh, they don't have dragon eye. Yeah, I like dragon, dragon eye really way, good. way better than lychee. Dragon eye. Dragon eye would be S tier for me. The, the only problem I have with the dragon eye is that there's never a clean way of eating it. Like, oh, yeah. your, it, hands your hands are all, all sticky, sticky and, and it's just gross. Uh, it's just gross. <gasps> okay, here's a big one. Mango. Mangoes. I S-tier. love mangoes. 100% for sure. Definitely uh, one of my I would put it favorite above fruits of avocado. I'm not sure about durian, though. All right, for me, it would be above durian. It would be Mango above durian? Like my all-time favorite fruit. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna put it here. Right just below. Well, there's right, still sure. other stuff. I'll put it just below, it but shift. it might shift. Uh, mango's great because there's so many ways you can eat it. So, like, when it's more ripe the soft ones that was really oh, wait, good which kind of mango uh so when i talk about the soft one i like the red mangoes okay they're soft and okay. then when it's um more ripe and it's a bit crunchier those are like i think the green ones the yes. green mangoes um and then the yellow ones can kind of go in either oh, interesting that's how i feel about mangoes but the okay the soft one in dessert is so good i prefer al follow mangoes and then filipino mangoes especially. yeah 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 Filipino honey mangoes, alfalfa mangoes, but, all of those in the same line. Those are so fucking good. Those wait, are do you the like best it best kind? Ripe or do you like it raw? I feel like for the yellow ones, don't you have to eat them raw or raw and like ripe or not? Okay, you have to eat them ripe because yeah. then they're sweet. And if they they're not sweet, they're like really sour. But you ever had like the raw ones where it's sour and they mix like shrimp paste and shit in it? Yeah, I eat, there's like different kinds. So for the the green mango, the big round green one, yeah, that's the one that I eat savory with like chili powder and salt yeah. and sugar yeah and sometimes good. like nut mum yeah 
And then for the big red one, oh. that one's like a lot juicier, right? Yes. And oh. that one, you can just eat it by itself, Dude, eat it, put it in dessert, whatever. The best part about the red one is like if you can peel it and you just hold it and you just start. You just chew- suck on it. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. Delicious. Oh, it's, it's pretty bomb. Or like the yellow one is like really soft. So I eat it like just by itself or, you, or that one's really, really fucking good if you make mm. smoothies out of it. So the one so creamy. The one thing I don't like. Okay, so the one thing I really like is mango cakes. Yes. Uh, I always like man, man, mango flavored cakes. TNT. The mango cake from TNT yes. is so the good. the mango is like for some reason it's soft but it's still like chewyish. Mm, mm. Uh, but the one thing I don't like is mango juice. Why? I don't know. It just it just tastes so weird. Maybe because I've just it's had not re- thick. Maybe I've had really bad mango juice experience or like maybe I've always bought the bad ones, but I always found mango juice is very average and very meh. I hate it when people sell mango juice and it's like watery, like watery mango juice. Because I'm like, I fucking know that if you blend up a mango, it's going to be thick. But but it should be thick. I also don't like it when they have that. It should be like nectar. That artificial mango flavor. Like I hate Uh, artificial mango flavor. So, I mean, that's that's the only thing I wouldn't like. Uh, Next one is nectarine. I like, I like nectar. I like it, but I think it's uh maybe a, like it's it's facing some titans here. I, I I would put it somewhere in the B tier to be honest. B or lower A. I would say A. Uh, A I really like like my stone fruits. Like above red apple, below yeah. grapes. Yeah, yeah. White grapes. All right. Yeah. No, I'll I'll fuck with that. I like nectarine. It's a, uh, but for the, the thing is like I only eat it in the summer. Like I never get nectarines during the winter or anything like that. Okay. So there's only like a three, four month period where I can get some. But then that same period, there's all the other good fruits too. So I'm like, oh, white nectarines would be S tier for me. Really? You like the white I one? fucking love white nectarines so much. I mean, I think, oh no, they do have this here, but uh, we can talk about that later. But yeah, I mean, I think nectarines okay. I think. Like the yellow one I is actually a little like the bit orange soft. One better. I, I like the orange one better. And then the white one's a lot crispier. I, I the, like the, the, one. the orange one is sweeter, I think. Yeah. So that's why I like that one better. All right. Actually, I don't know. I, I like think the, the white one. one's pretty sweet too. The problem is, I think the white one, if it's, it's so crispy, crispy, so crispy right? if it's crispy, it's not as sweet. No? I feel like when it's more ripe and a little bit softer, that's when it's sweeter, but I don't like that. It's like, uh, it's not as, like the white one isn't as crispy as an Asian pear. But it's. I feel like when it's that uh, crispy, it's like not as sweet though. That's what I find. Maybe you're picking the wrong one. Maybe I literally almost never buy fruits. It's just whatever my mom brings home. I feel weird if I don't eat a fruit every day. Really? I mean, yeah. I eat a banana every day, so I guess I am. But yeah, I, I don't think I would feel weird if I didn't. Uh, next one is orange. I fuck with orange quite a bit because it's Me so too. universal. There's so many different types. I would if put you it get like a good orange. It's, yeah, it can make your day. I would put it like low, <laughs> low S tier. Yeah. Um, I love bringing orange to school because it fills you up and it's like, uh, like it, it, it's so juicy that like, it feels like it's a full meal, like drinks and the food all I in agree. one. I agree. If you also squeeze your own orange juice and you add like a spoonful, of, a spoonful of honey, the best drink oh, ever. Fuck, well, you fuck with you like fuck around with your fruits a lot. I love. Fruits. I just like eating it as <laughs> is, like like just just peel it and eat it kind of thing. I you do. So make it the best. I do hate you peeling. Can, right? That is the one thing I don't like about orange. Uh, usually my sister or my girlfriend, my mom would peel it for me because mm-hmm. I'm spoiled. You have to dig your thumb into it. Yeah, actually, so when I was at school, I used to I used to bring a knife to school just to peel it. <laughs> but then I stopped doing that for a bit. So then I would bite the top. You'd bite the top of the orange. Yeah. And then you'd use that as the peel mark. Oh, I, wouldn't, I don't like doing that because then you taste the bitterness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you bitterness. do taste a bit of bitterness. But I think orange is cool. It's one of the most universal and there's so many different types. Yeah, and it's so refreshing. Yes. So let's put that lower S tier. Uh, papaya. What do you think about papaya? Papaya is okay. Uh, I don't like, like papaya. I think all the papaya I ever get at home is bitter, and every, like bitter? I always thought papaya was bitter, and then I tried it somewhere <laughs> else that wasn't at home, oh, no. and I was like, "Oh shit, it's actually kind of good." But then yeah. I think I think that memory of always having bitter papaya at home just makes me not like papaya. Oh no, to like, me, papayas are like melons without the melon after taste smell that I don't like. Mm, yeah, it's not bad. Unfortunately, I probably put papaya somewhere with like the cantaloupe, maybe a little yeah. bit lower. 
Like the only I always thought papaya was straight up bitter because all the ones that we have at home are always fucking That's bitter. Really and then I went to Taiwan and then they're like, oh no, the papaya is really good. So I had a papaya bubble tea. I was like, oh, sh- this is really fucking good. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, but no, I'm I've uh, I'm I'm prejudiced against papayas, unfortunately. When I was growing up, my mom would tell me that I should eat more papayas because apparently papayas makes girls prettier. Mm. I don't know what it is. Mm, she also told me the same thing about scallops. I don't know if I like trained my brain into thinking this, but now I fucking love scallops. Oh, I mean, scallops are pretty good, but I think my parents always use the excuse of uh, bolo, you know, bolo. So oh, yeah. that just means it's good for your brain. So whatever they they like, whatever they can think of or whatever fruits they're trying to, yeah, or fruits or vegetables they're trying brain. to make us eat, they'll just say bolo. Mm. Just automatic all the time. Guess it would work. Uh, passion fruit isn't passion fruit like a is it is it passion fruit or is it something else where it's like a dead bee inside what is that it's a fig that's a fig oh fig. figs have female wasps that crawl inside to um what's it called make the thing sweet for lack of a better word I don't wanna so it's meat wait. essentially figs are meat I mean not meat but like they have an animal inside that died kind of yeah but they have the enzymes that'll break down the wasp's body no, so yeah, you won't okay. you won't ever find like a wasp in there unless you get it like right from the farm before it I dissolves think maybe that's why we don't really eat figs at home too it's but, just yeah it's like fig. the buddhist thing it, we don't we, we probably would never buy figs because knowing like mm. knowing that a, a bug went in and died it's like weird fun fact of the day friends yeah uh passion fruit i don't know i don't actually have a lot of passion fruit i think it's average or maybe even below average. People I think the use flavors. Passion fruit juice and a lot of things as like a base because it's surprisingly inexpensive. Passion fruit and guava. I hate passion fruit candy and guava candy. I hate. But those. it's alright. It's very average at best. But I haven't eaten I like passion it. fruit itself that much. So I'll put it wherever you want. Um, but you I won't put anything see. higher than B. Okay. Where uh, I'll put it next to fig. Sure. I put it higher than fig. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Peach. Okay. My peach story. Oh my when I went to Kelowna, uh, this was a while ago with my ex-girlfriend. We went to Kelowna and we went to the kangaroo farm. They have a kangaroo farm. And okay. if you go in the morning, you can like f- like feed the kangaroo milk and stuff. Wait, in Kelowna? Yeah, yeah. Kangaroos? They have, they have these little baby kangaroos. Little um, joeys? I don't know what the... They're not like the big ones. Um, Let's see what they look like. They're like these little guys. Kangaroo Creek Farm is, is where we went. They look like they this thing. So cute. They look like 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 Lumis almost. Yeah, they do. But what like the upright. Fuck. They look like just giant rats, but they're super cute. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we went there. It was fun playing with the kangaroos, and there's goats, and goats are fucking so fun. Are, is it goats or yeah, goats? Like they would like jump all over you and stuff. They're fucking oh, hilarious. So they're, like the biggest troll. And after I think this was about two hours in the zoo, and then we left. And I was like, dude, I'm so thirsty right now. And right outside of Kelowna of of that zoo was like just a truck, like a BC fruit truck, mm-hmm. and they're just selling like whole peaches and this one was like literally like my entire palm and some Damn. and i bit into it and that was like the juiciest oh, peach ever and i had to like suck the juice out of that peach and i was like this is the best peach i've ever had yeah. so then every time we go to uh farmer's market in edmonton where they sell bc peaches i have to buy one like just one is it like, the same not the whole pack every time? Uh, it's very similar. It's like yeah. that nice juiciness. So like peach for me is somewhere in the A area. Yeah, that's high. Um, I have a very fond memory with it. It's, it was just so like thirst quenching. Because like we were walking for like two hours and stuff. Mm-hmm. It was like hot outside and I was like thirsty and stuff. I bit into that and I was like, holy shit, I just drank a bottle of water. I have the same experience, but with l- dragon eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one time I went on a hike and we went down. And right when we got down to the bottom of the hike... There was a fruit stand and they had dragon eyes and I was like, oh, sure, I'll buy a bag. And it was the best dragon eyes I've ever had in my life. Um, but um, for me, peaches are peaches are alright. I kind of get them mixed up in my head with um, nectarines. Nectarines, because yeah. there's like soft fuzzy yes. peaches and there's peaches that are white. There's all oh, the soft like fuzzy yellowy. ones. Then there's nectarines that are like yellow. Then there's white nectarines. Yeah. And then in Chinese, you can like interchange them. So I'll, I'll, I would put it somewhere like mid A probably, um, like maybe just above blackberry. But yeah, that was so good. The juiciest freaking peach I've ever had. Can I vote to put nectarines a little higher? Since I, okay, not the yellow nectarines, but I love white nectarines. All like right. white nectarines would be S tier. I'll me. put it right next to the peach. Right. How about that? Right. I'm happy it's right just just below banana. Um, but yeah. All right, next one's pear. I do like pears. I really only like Asian pears. 
Uh, Every other pear is like meh. Like Bosque pears? What the fuck is that? Really? You don't like the green pears? No, they're, they're, they're not like crunchy. They're I know, nice. but they're like, uh, so sweet. sweet. They're like, meh. I love they're the sweetness. Meh. Okay, I, I, I'm the willing Asian to put pears, this like low S-class. B tier. I will willing to put low B tier. All right, make it for okay. Uh, for, is this for a regular pear? Green pear, regular green, green pear. pear. Yeah, you can put whatever the fuck you want, just not that high. Oh, I but love if we're green We're talking pear. about Asian pears. Okay, but S. But here's the other thing you have to think about. You ever have those like um weird like European sandwiches where they put pear and cheese, like yes. brie, yes, and pear Those and like so bread. Good. Dude, oh, that's what right. I'm saying. Pear, right? You're that's right. exactly right. pear. But it, by itself, I would never eat it by itself. I see why by itself. It, it's comparable to apple and just whatever. It's just like, eh, it's just okay. Whatever. It's not crunchy. It's not much. Unless it's an Asian pear. Mm, yes. But sometimes when you have that pear and brie, ooh, oh, that's pretty good. That's a good combo. That's and a, turkey. Oh, that's a good combo right there. All right, persimmon. Persimmons would be high A for me. I love high persimmons. A. I do like persimmon. I don't eat it that much. I would put it like somewhere here. If that's okay. Yeah. If you little... toss persimmons and honey and cinnamon, and you put some like star anise powder on it, it's so fucking good. Or like a tiny bit of five spice, it's so good. I've never had that mix, so you're gonna have to make it for me. Um, right, I will one day. But I do, I do like it when it's peeled and it's just easy to eat. It's a very unique fruit. We don't get it often. Mm-hmm. It's only in the summer. Really? Uh, what? I ate a bunch during the winter. Oh, maybe I'm poor. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> maybe that's why. Uh, okay, yeah. No, I, I don't mind persimmon being about there. Next one is pineapple. I fuck with pineapple. I love pineapple. I love, I love it in cooking. I love it in as a fruit. I would put it somewhere in S tier. Yes, I would Honestly, put it I would put it like maybe just above I orange love, just because it's a love, little bit special. Pineapple. Uh, pineapple in cooking is so good. Like pineapple fried rice. Yes. I fuck with that. And uh, if you guys ever go to Sing Mayan, was that uh, Tropica? Mm-hmm. Pineapple fried rice. I love pineapple. I think fried. it's a Vietnamese dish, maybe. Oh, is it? Where they put pineapples and you like stir fry it with meat. Oh, okay. That's, That's good really too. Good. I like that. Yeah. We also have or uh, the, like hot and sour yeah, soup. Yeah, sour soup. Soon Hong, we put so pineapple good. in it. Yeah. But, dude. Pineapple on a juicy day is none other. Oh, oh sorry. Was... Pineapple on a <laughs> hot day. I didn't is even pick that up. None other. On a hot, nice hot day, you have a you have a nice juicy pineapple. Oh, so good. The only problem I have with pineapple is, is for me, it's difficult as fuck to peel and stuff. What? No, I think it's easy once you learn. Uh, I've never learned. I just let other people do it. And Obvious. but when I get it, it's so good. I fucking love pineapple. Oh, the other thing is, um, what's that Brazilian barbecue house thing? Apples. Dude, when you get the grilled pineapples. Oh yeah, they put some sugar good. on it those and they caramelize the top. Brulee. Oh, that's fucking good, dude. Something I don't like about pineapples though is that if you cut it and they're too ripe, mm. they have like an alcohol aftertaste to it. Mm, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know I, mean? I, I could definitely. Or see I don't that. like it when I'm eating it with people who sprinkle salt on it. Mm, I, if it's sour, I like it with salt. Oh really? Uh, did you know pineapples grow from the ground? They grow out of like these bushes. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Yeah. We went, so like I went to Hawaii recently and we saw it. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like it you see, a, fucking weird, you see right? a little like bud a... of pineapple. It literally looks like an alien yeah, thing coming out. out of a stick. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then like, spiky bush. And then once it gets too heavy, it'll lean over and that's, that's when you know it's about ready. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I fuck with pineapple. I was pineapple's curious good. one day about what they looked like. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about plum? Meh. Very meh. Yeah. Me too. I think it's meh. I really don't uh, really give a shit about plums. The only time I kind of i'm okay with plum is uh if i can't shit i drink some plum juice oh that's prune juice wait is it the same thing it's prune no prune? they're not the same oh uh, okay well never mind plums down here d tier yeah i would put d tier i'll put it uh like i'll actually i think it... i would like grapefruit more than plums. yeah i think so plums too are actually very mad. like i really just yeah, don't give a shit yeah, about plums yeah they're so like i th- like the hit or miss is, it's been so many miss than hit for me like eighty yeah. percent of the time it's dry, and then only maybe twenty percent of the time I actually get like a, a good plum. I would say so too. Uh oh, pomegranate. Pomegranate is delicious. I really like pomegranate. I like I'd... pomegranate. It feels difficult to process though. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the I only annoying know. part, and you get red stained everywhere. I've um, never tried a pine, not pineapple. I never tried a pomegranate until high school because I always thought they were an expensive fruit. Mm. And then in high school, one of my friends brought it to our bikeathon. And I didn't know how to eat them because they have like the seeds in them and everything, yeah. right? And some people spit them out and some people just eat them entirely. I thought you were supposed to just like suck out the juice oh. and spit out the seeds. Yeah. But everyone thought I was weird. Uh, I like pomegranate. I'll put like mid-A tier probably. 
Yeah, I would say the same. I'd probably maybe like just below Peach, I think. Um, Ooh. it's just really annoying. Like if if and I if you get if you like open up a bunch and you just have a bowl full of po- pomegranates, you just eat them by the spoonful. It's pretty fucking good. It's, it's good, but I I hate fucking like peeling it and getting all the pomegranate out with the without the white parts. That's like right in between oh, yeah. everything. Oh, it's kind of easy though. You just soak it in water. And then all the white parts just float up and you just I mean, dump off the top layer of water. I had to do myself and fucked, so <laughs> there it is. All right, I next hate one. Oh, really? Okay. I like I actually They're really dry like... as shit. Okay, you might they have had smell the really bad. You might have the really shitty pomelos. They're bitter. But we have pomelos all the time at home and it's pretty good. But I'm okay to put it low B tier at the lowest. But actually I ate them again for the first time in a long ass while when I was in BC. Yeah. My aunt was peeling me some. And she made that same like sauce that you would eat green mangoes with. Yes. So like chili, salt, sugar. Yes. Yes. What and um, new mum and it actually tastes pretty good or not pretty. I wouldn't say pretty good. It tastes good or okay. If, if, if you eat it with that. If I had my I way, I would put dates a bit lower, but I would put pomelo somewhere here. Oh damn! All right. I'll put pomelo maybe over green red grapes. <gasps> Terrible. Okay, here I'll put it just below red grapes. All right. But uh, I fuck with pomelo. We eat pomelo all the time at home. I never peel them because I'm spoiled. So, again, my sister, my girlfriend, or my mom would peel them for me. Fucking baby. And I would just like, ooh, so good. But something about shitting too, right? Dry as shit, aren't they? No, no, no. I mean, I don't know how you guys buy your pomelo, but the the pomelos we buy are always nice. We buy them where the pomelo is individually wrapped. Yeah. Yeah, and it's always juicy. And it has like, the red yeah. mesh on it and then yeah. the cellophane on it. No, 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 no. Like we have, it's it's an even nicer wrapper ones. Oh, because I think it's something about Can like uh, really good luck with Pamela or some <laughs> bullshit. I don't know. So we all, we always buy like the expensive ones. Damn. Yeah, it has like a full condom coming with it, so it's good. Uh, but something about shitting if you eat too much. I think constipated or not or the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Just something to do with your shit. Yeah, but it never bothered me, so I was just whatever. Uh, raspberries. I love raspberries. Really? I I would put it lower than blackberry. It's not as juicy. Ooh. I think the flavor is eh. Raspberries. Um, raspberries are second to blueberries to me. I would put them right behind blueberries in the eight tier. I'll me. put it. I'll put it next to the cherries. Okay, sure. Uh, have you had white raspberries though? Those are really good. Uh, actually, I don't think I have. Oh, uh, my friend has a f- not a farm, but she has an acreage. Or her parents have an acreage, and they have like a little ras, a uh, little white ras- raspberry berries. bush. But I feel like raspberry is like not as versatile. Like you don't have a raspberry pie. I mean, you do, but it's not as good. Um, it's just I don't know. Like blueberry and blackberry just feels more really? like a stronger fruit to me in terms of flavor. Like, and taste. Raspberries are very strong, high contender in every way. For me. I think it's it's too soft for me. Yeah, if they and if they go mushed, then it's kind of like fuck. Another one died. But yeah, it's, I don't know. It's pretty gross. Uh, red currant. I'll put it right next to the black currant because I don't know where the yeah, fuck I to put it. it. <laughs> 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 so it's right next Anyways. to the seeds here. <laughs> Um, I've always wanted to like star fruit, which is I don't, the next fruit. I, I don't like because it because it's so pretty. Yeah, but it's very average. But I don't like it. Yeah, I, I would put it probably it just above weird. gooseberry, and yeah. I think it's a little bitter. Maybe it's like it's really yeah. tart. Yeah, I think it's average at best, and it tastes like the same combination as kiwi and strawberry juice, which yeah. is fucking weird. Like it smells no one, weird. No one has makes aftertaste. Fucking no one. No one makes like a star fruit cake or anything like that. Yeah, it's for a reason. Weird. Such a cute and pretty fruit. Yeah. Wasted. Okay, how about strawberry? I would put strawberry like pretty high up. Um. Yeah, me too. But honestly, strawberries look like they would taste better than they do. I think it's opinion. it's just I don't know. It's just unless like, you go strawberry picking. Yeah. In BC, yeah. then they're this sounds so bougie or this sounds so like you know, whatever it is or high and mighty, but like. When you pick out those strawberries, they taste so fucking sweet. They taste like what strawberries look like they would taste. But when you buy them anywhere here, no matter how good the strawberry is, like I, I really like strawberries. Yeah. But they'll never be as sweet as you expect them to be, in my opinion. Mm, okay, so for me, there's so several there reasons are- why I would put strawberry either high A tier or low S tier. Um, but This is going to be up to you. But it's going to be either high A tier or low S tier for me. All right, I'm going to put it A. I think S tier is okay. Special. First of all, chocolate dipped strawberries, fucking oh, amazing. Those are, those are I love really amazing. good strawberry. I've never had a bad like strawberry shortcake where there's a giant plump strawberry on top. Like that actual strawberry itself is always so good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's in almost every cake. Uh, strawberry, strawberry cheesecake's really good. Fuku's are really good. Um, strawberry cream cheese at Tim Hortons with your bagel. Oh, I've never tried that. That shit's fucking bomb. And 
and just strawberries in general. I feel like there's it's the most versatile and like it's the most. Strawberry, it feels like it's the most romantic fruit strawberry. for some reason. Oh yeah. Like when you think of love and romance, I would think of strawberry if I had to pick a fruit for some reason. Yeah, me too. Or pineapples. Uh, probably more strawberry. Maybe <laughs> may, 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 maybe strawberry like Thank more me. so looks like a heart. So but yeah, for some reason it is tangerine. Tangerines are same line as oranges, I think, because they're generally sweeter, right? Yeah, I like tang- I like I really like, like uh, an orange, but you like concentrate the flavor of the actual orange. What's the tangerine canned juice or canned pop or can whatever? Fuck. I don't fucking know. Tangerine pop. No, not pop. Tangerine drink. Um can drink fuck i need to figure out what it is you need to be better at googling man it's a very high value skill i mean can you think of something about oh are you talking about san pellegrino yes yeah, san pellegrino's tangerine <laughs> drink is so fucking good oh, man. Uh, i don't sure. think i've had wait have i had tangerine's not not the same as mandarin oranges right no there are, i feel like i haven't had many of the, just the tangerine itself but i feel like when i have it's pretty good i think it's pretty good i think you would agree I think it's close to blood orange for me too, though. I have only had blood orange like once, and I don't really remember how I liked it, oh. but I think I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. But anyways, next one's a huge one for me. Watermelon. Watermelon S tier. Watermelon is, it might be the only one for me that beats Doreen, to be honest. Um, Rivaling for sure. I think I would put it like right next to Doreen on the ho- uh, beating Doreen Every by a smidge. Every single summer, I'll yes. cut a watermelon in half. Then you slice off the bottom just a tiny bit so it can lay flat, and then you just use a scoop, a spoon, and you scoop out your way to heaven. Do you ever it's so fucking good? Peel the whole watermelon, like, like yeah, like just so the it looks like skin. a fucking egg. Yeah, and then yeah. oh, and then that's all meat right there, yeah. all fucking meat. And I used to work so at a bubble good. tea shop, guys, so that's why I know about Did. the durian bubble tea. I, and I, when we would for the watermelon bubble tea, you'd have to cut it like all the way like that. I can eat like a whole container full in one sitting it's so oh, good yeah. uh, i remember when i was a kid my mom would always say like don't eat too much watermelon before you sleep because you're gonna pee your pee your bed or something Fuck like you, that mom. but dude watermelon is so good it's yeah. uh ultimate thirst quenching ultimate. best sweetness doesn't have that many calories either yeah. for macro have you had yellow watermelon yes it's good it's pretty but good but I, I like red yeah me too i prefer yeah. the red one still uh it's so fucking delicious so many good oh my god asian pears on this list but <laughs> okay Damn. um i've had so many memories of just like random summer days where i'll eat a whole fucking yes. half watermelon in one sitting you feel so full like, after one of the best days ever <laughs> yeah oh so good it's so satiating it's just so something about good. it have you ever i feel like i've i hate it when people put salt in watermelons too oh i love doing that oh, oh i fucking crazy, love that doing that changes the whole flavor profile i feel like i've i think someone I don't know if I've tried it yet or not, but I feel like I've heard of like grilled watermelon and Ooh. I heard it was really good, but I don't think I've tried it. Good. But yeah, I fuck with anything watermelon. Watermelon flavor, even like fake watermelon flavor shit I like. I, I know it doesn't even taste like watermelon, but I would prefer that fake watermelon taste than other fake fruit tastes. All right, next one's honeydew. I know you don't like the fucking thing. I like honeydew over cantaloupe. You like cantaloupe over honeydew. So I'm just going to put them next to each other. Um... In my preference, because you don't even like them. All right. Next was Asian, Asian pear. pear S tier. You can put it wherever the fuck you want. S tier, uh, right S-tier. behind mango. Right behind mango, right above avocado. Asian pear. Asian pear is pretty good. It's pretty thirst quenching. I have to admit. Very fucking good. Uh, the problem I have with my Asian pear is that it stays in my fridge too long and it starts having those scar marks oh, yeah, on the yeah, skin. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, this looks a little cancerous. You know, I don't like my fruit looking cancerous. Unfortunately. All right, next one's guava. I don't fuck with guava. Guava's okay. I I think it's uh I think it belongs somewhere like. I think when you think of like your standard American juice flavor, the base is always going to be guava. Fun fact. Oh, is it? Oh, well, I'm just yeah. gonna put it down here. Oh, another fun fact. Orange Julius. Most of their drinks are guava based. Yeah. So you're telling me this this the fruit's killing America. But yeah, I'd put it D tier too. I don't really give a shit about it. I hate guava candy. Absolutely hate guava candy. I fucking hate it. It smells bad to me. I've never tried it. Uh, blood orange. I mean, I actually like blood orange. I, I think it's a very. Remember. It's not as. Uh, I think it's a very. It's not a common flavor. Like I don't think a lot of people would like it, or it's not as like universal. I would say. 
I would actually not put it as high wherever, as the other oranges. Wherever you want. I would put it somewhere uh, like maybe next to persimmon. After. At least after. Right, whatever. I'm Custard like apple. I actually haven't had a lot of this. I, I've had it it's and weird. it just tastes average to me. Yeah, I would probably put, put it like high D, low C. Okay. Actually, probably over probably. cranberry. Actually, no. no. Over the currants. Actually, no. I would put it D. D tier? Yeah. Okay, well... I like black cream more. Sorry, like let me just put guava kind of. somewhere like fucking... I can't believe grapefruit's this low. I would actually always have grapefruit over guava. Plum, guava? Okay, I, I can see those two together. I mean, you can put grapefruit higher if you feel like it deserves a higher rank. I mean, I think it's probably like right there, maybe. I would say it's... Um, I would I would personally put grapefruit as the highest in the D tier. Oh, you would like it more than custard apple? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. All right, next one's kumquat. D. Yeah, oh, I haven't had a lot. Most of them are dried. The ones I've had, I ha- I have a kumquat tree at my house. Oh yeah. And growing up, we always had one too, and it's. I always think that it's gonna be really sweet, like a tiny little orange, but it's disgusting. Okay, how about the other right it's there? Bitter and sour. Like low D, but still above guava. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guava. Above guava and plum. Um, mulberry. I don't. I don't think I've yeah, ever right. had mulberry. I, I've like heard. Of, a... I've heard of mulberry wine. But I don't think I've ever had Less mulberry. Less pungent blackberry that's slightly sweeter in a way. I don't know it looks like a name. pine cone. What the fuck? Looks like a long blackberry. Yeah. I mean, have you had a lot of it? Not often, no. Can I we just put this on the, I've never had sure, this? Yeah. I feel like it's uh, not fair. Raisins. Just put red currants and black currants down there. On this <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's put the currants down there. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really know those too well. Why the fuck are raisins on here? <laughs> Like, honestly, <laughs> there's fucking red grapes and green grapes and then raisins. Why the fuck are there raisins? I'll be honest, I, I, I don't mind chocolate covered raisins, but uh, raisins on their own, they're kind of just average to me. I actually really like raisins and baked goods. Oh, like no. If, if anything says it has raisins raisins in it, oh. I'd be like, oh my goodness, I'm definitely you like that. You like raisin bagels? I fucking love it. So earlier when raisin you said muffin? the strawberry cream cheese, yeah. I was going to say... The best thing you can get for a bagel at Tim Hortons is a cinnamon raisin bagel toasted oh, with cream cheese. No. Best fucking thing ever. You like so raisins that much? Good. How about I just put it next or to the grapes if for you? They put yeah. like raisins in cinnamon buns. It tastes really good. Do you like dried fruit? Yeah. I'm or not, some of them. I'm not a fan of like I know I'm not, they're really bad for you, so that kind of ruins no. my that that's not even the reason for me. I just don't it. like the flavor. I, right. I, I I like the whole reason I eat fruit. Like the whole reason in Chinese it's called shui guo or soy so yeah, guo is because of the waterness to it. Uh, and when you dry it out, it ruins it for me. Have you had the dried mangoes from Costco? I, I, I'm not a fan so of dried mangoes either. Fucking good. I'm not, like, I wonder what a. They're so bad for you. Did you even dry watermelon? Is that even anything anymore? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Just dust? <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking dust. Or like raisin bread? Oh, I love All right, where would you put toast. raisin? Because. Honestly, the more I start talking about it, <laughs> I can move it in E. Uh, I'll put, put it behind it... limes though, because it's not a fucking fruit. It shouldn't even be on this list. Like I like, I like the little red, the little box, the little packet you get from oh, Halloween. Yeah. I don't mind those. The red robin boxes. Yeah, or those, whatever, those but... are right, those are right. But uh, yeah. I don't like raisins in my baked goods. Actually, I love raisins in baked goods. I don't really like uh, many fruits in my baked like goods. A pop of sugar. I like fruits in my cakes, but not in my baked goods for some reason. All right, next one's jackfruit. Oh, I, I love, love jackfruit. jackfruit. I, I, I would sure. put it like somewhere around. I would put it. I would put it right here, to be honest. Yeah, me too. So I've never had fresh jackfruit until I went back to Vietnam, and it's game changer. Oh, do you want some? My parents just bought a huge one, and they opened it up. So we have like, <sighs> I have a, I have my own personal fridge downstairs for all my personal things, and then I had to move some of my shit because they didn't have room in their fridge because the. They're taking up an entire level of my fridge for all this fucking jackfruit that Dude, we have now. Dude, Vietnamese dessert with jackfruit? Yes. Oh, I made that the other day. So good. On like... So good. Oh, on Monday I made it. I Is, cut up some jackfruit and then I made some... Game changer. Ja with like coconut milk and some pandan jelly things. I think we have some upstairs. Tapioca. We have <gasps> the jelly. We have the beans. Oh and God, then we yeah. have the and cream beans, and stuff. That's what I made. It was Dude, so good. so good. Dude. I thought back then I thought jackfruit was kind of mad, but I feel like I've always had like not fresh ones. And then when I had a fresh one, I was like, dude, this is next level. The canned ones are so good too, though. There, I I do like jackfruit a lot. It was I I remember because um my dad's family has a farm in Vietnam, and we were just sitting around and they had a giant jackfruit and they were like peeling it and putting it into containers to sell. 
mm-hmm. like uh, like styrofoam bottom and saran wrap on top. Have you ever actually opened it yourself? No, they they open. I don't. I, have, I barely open any of these fruits myself. Okay, You're like fucking only banana for me. Bitch. Okay, everyone else opens the rest it's for me, so washes sticky. the rest for me. It's like really sticky. Yeah, but it's so good. Like eating it fresh. Like they literally just opened next to me. I was just sitting next to them. They just kept giving it to me. I was like, oh, this really? Is so I like it when you open it and then you wait a day. Oh, because then it's kind of like. It, to me, it's almost like all the syrupiness yeah. kind of comes to. Yeah. I don't want to say the surface, but it just like ripens a lot more if you just let it sit a day. And it's but so as soon as any, good. as soon as any of it touches cancer, as soon as any of it's brown, huh? I'm just like, oh, that's kind of weird now. Oh. <laughs> like touches cancer. All right, mangosteen for me is very high tier. Very... I don't think I've ever actually tried. Oh my god, steam. dude, mangosteen. But put it wherever you want, dude. If I had to pick, it would be like either really? before or after Whoa. during. It's so good it's literally the pussy of asia excuse it's me so delicious it looks like one and <laughs> and i could like literally I, I i was i think we were we had a road trip in vietnam and i was eating a whole bag of it myself my cousins uh, just kept peeling like, like mangoes and lychees which i'm gonna guess but juicier and but creamier. yeah like a lot juicier right and it's like creamy like a sour sop ish yeah or maybe i have had it like the once. combinations i can't explain but i can't remember it but it's also so easy to peel too like this is oh, something that yeah. they like i could literally just twist and eat it and shit yeah. it's so good i had so much mango steam when i was there it's uh it's pretty top tier mm. for me it's it's fucking up there it's right next to the durian level shit for me uh rambutan this is uh i, like rambutans. I forgot what it's called but it's kind of like a lychee, kind of like a dragon fruit or yeah. dragon eye fruit. But it's not as sweet, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, so if dragon eye was on here, dragon eye would be S tier for well, me. Where would rambutan? Rambutan be for would be behind lychee because I think it's not as sweet as lychees. What the fuck is lychee? Right here. Yeah, yeah. I, I would put B tier. Sour cherry. Those are pretty good, but um, no. overly sour. I would put it like near near cranberry to be honest. Yeah. Sure. If there are rainier cherries, I'm gonna repeat myself again, guys. That's best here for me. <laughs> Was it rainier? Yeah, search it up. It's yellow. It's like yellow and red. R A so was it? R A. Like literally rain. 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 I E R. Ear. Ear. Cherry. Oh, yo, these are, these are delicious. These are so yeah, good. Yeah, these are really good. These are pretty good. These are pretty. Good. Sure, sure, sure. I kind of like the dark ones a bit more though, because it's almost like uh yeah. like medicine flavor. Oh, like cough syrup? <laughs> yeah. I fucking love oh, cough yeah, syrup. so good. Uh, white currant. I'm going to put this with other currants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ground cherry. Okay, let me what see. What the hell? What the fuck is a ground I've never cherry. had a ground cherry before. These are the, the ones what? we thought okay, was... Okay, that's what I'm fucking yeah, saying. Uh, okay, okay, no, I swear they're also called something else, though. They're called, like, some long-ass right. name that you would never remember off the top of your head. And that's why I don't remember it. Uh, Ground cherry. Like, golden something. Wait, no, we saw it somewhere, right? <laughs> what was it we saw before? Was it the current? It was a gooseberry. Gooseberry, yes. But now it's a ground cherry. See, they're fucking like... Okay, gooseberry, let's put this in the never had. Yeah. And then let's put ground <laughs> cherry where gooseberry was. <laughs> Wait, can you see if you can find out what the other name is? I swear it's called something else. It's called a golden sea something. Oh, there you go. Gooseberry. Cape gooseberry. Golden s- salus. Golden salus. There you go. That's the word. S- yeah. Um. Yeah. It's kind of average. It's super sour. It's super sour. So sour. All right, guys. So this is our fucking tier list. We're gonna tell you right now our top three is watermelon, durian, mangosteen. I think I and then mango. You just have to mention. And then right, mango. Top five. Top, top five, five is watermelon, water- durian, mangosteen, mango, and jackfruit. Dude, these are all the best fruits from like I Southeast see. Asia too. Yeah. Like, this is literally just Southeast Asia represent right there. Throw in there. golden kiwis in there. Throw in rainier cherries. And you have my favorite fruits, friends. I mean, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> that's our S tier. Our, um, I guess our S tier all around would be watermelon, durian, mangosteen, mango, jackfruit, Asian pear, avocado, coconut, pineapple, orange, and tangerine. Our D tier is grapefruit, custard apple, star fruit, ground cherry, kumquat, guava, plum, bite us. Mm-hmm. By us, this is the JAV show ultimate fruit tier list. Uh, I wonder if is we have there time. any fruit off the top of your head that you think should be on this list that isn't on here right now. Yeah, off the top of my head, I mean, this is actually a quite comprehensive one. I have to admit, this had a lot of the fruits. Um, yeah. Tomato. 
I love <laughs> love tomatoes. I do, but um, but I don't consider them. A yeah, me that too. Way. But I, I know can eat tomatoes like they're apples. Yeah, I get you it. You slice up tomatoes, guys, and you sprinkle salt and pepper and some garlic powder and cayenne pepper on it. It's so good. But okay, you the just th- eat it like that. The other thing is, I treat cherry tomato like a fruit, though. Oh yeah. But I don't treat like like oh. a like a beefsteak tomato as a fruit. Oh yeah, that's true. Or like an heirloom tomato is yeah. definitely not a fruit. Yeah, but I do treat just like cherry tomato almost like a fruit because you just pop them in like a like a grape almost. Mm, yeah. With a different flavor. Uh, anything here that is not? I can't think of anything right now. Can you? I'm just trying to think of like super exotic ones. I mean, obviously, dragon eye was one of them we thought we talked about. Dragon eye fruit. Um, can you think of any? Look, there's like a. Uh, I mean, and why think when Google can tell you? Okay, good because I swear there was some popping up in my head, but it wouldn't manifest enough for me to. Um, think about it. No, these are all the basic bitch ones I see when I Google. They've been Asian fruits. Asian fruits, Asian fruits, mother tuckers. Uh, oh, do you like soursop? I think they're okay at best. Oh, yeah. do you, wait, is that what's uh? Do you know what guy see is? Is that soursop? Uh, I, I don't know, know. My, I don't fucking know. All right, all I hear is chicken poop. Yeah, chicken poop fruit. Okay, good because that's. <laughs> um. Oh, this red thing. What is this called? It's. Is oh, it a form I of saw apple? that for the first time when I went to Kuala Lumpur. I have no idea what it is, and I refused to to try it. Uh, I think it's sourish <laughs> and crunchy. I I've definitely eaten it before. Um, I don't recall it too much because I've only eaten like maybe once or twice. There's also this thingy, this like armadillo egg looking thing. Oh. I don't recall what it's called either. Um, man, I mean, I hope we're giving good enough in uh descriptions <laughs> to our fucking viewers because they have no idea what we're looking at. What the fuck is this? Oh, oh this is the one. Fruit. Is that what's called? Pitaya is the pink Red, dragon yeah. fruit. Okay, that's what it's called. Snake fruit or salak. This looks weird as fuck. Looks like a cherry, or not a cherry, a strawberry that went through the it looks like a butt. Hiroshima. Doesn't it look like a butt? Like a long ass butt. Rambutan, longan, lychee, pulsan, pulsan. Ah. Huh. Uh, uh, Jack Fruto, Guava, Durian, Mayor Lemon. Meyer. Meyer Lemon. Goji Berries? Oh, Goji Berries. Yeah, oh, Sapodillas are pretty okay. I've never had that, I don't think. But Goji Berries, I don't like them. Oh, I love Goji Berries. Especially in soup. Oh, wait, no, those are wolf berries. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm a fan Goji of Goji Berries. berries in I soups. love both. I'm not a fan. Thanks to... When I was growing up, whenever I saw them in my soup, I would call them ladybugs. <laughs> and maybe my sister would be like, oh, did you get ladybugs in your soup? The fuck? I'd be like, can I have some of your ladybugs? <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of goji berry. I think it's average. Average at best. Uh, breadfruit? What the fuck? Is this the... Actually, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah. Definitely Geisy Go is not sour salt. I think it might be... No, it's not breadfruit either. Oh, there's this thing. This Vietnamese one called Tsai Cup or something. I have no idea exactly. It's a prickly apple kind of fruit. It's it's pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, tamarind. tamarind's pretty good. Oh, I like it in soups. Looks like poop. I, I really like it in soups. I don't like it in many other forms. For tamarind. Yuzu. Oh. Oh, I don't like yuzu. It's really? In Japanese cooking and shit, it's so good. Like yuzu tamarind. sauce? I love yuzu sauce. What else is there? Chinese bayberry mango. What yeah. the fuck? Hey, uh, okay. Well, there's not much I guess we missed. Yeah. That was a pretty comprehensive list, actually. All right. Any final thoughts on on fruits for you? Wait, can we go back to the list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so for watermelons, I like red watermelons. Durian, regular durian. Yes. I guess, I don't know if there's many other kind of... Mangosteen, though. No, varieties so. of durian. or ma- I don't really remember mangosteen. For mangoes, I prefer honey, Filipino, al- alfalo mangoes. Filipino mango. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Filipino mango, honey mango. They're like all kind of the same, just oh. slightly different. Then what's red mango? Big and round. That is, uh, oh, that's fucking... Yes, like this is what I'm looking yeah, at. It's really juicy. So juicy. Especially when it's like this. I actually like it yeah. when it's like dual colored, where it's green yes. and red at the same time. Or, that's or. the best mango. Um. Okay, going. Jackfruit's pretty good. Asian pear. Asian pear, for sure. 
avocado. Avocados. Oh, Golden dude. kiwis up there. Rainier cherries up there. Yeah, not on the list, but uh, <laughs> in your mind, yes. Yes, avocado's good. Coconut's good. Young coconut's better. Mm, I just like cooking with coconut. Just anytime you have coconut milk in anything, it's 100% better. Okay. Uh, all right, cool. We have a cool list of fruits, guys. It's a nice chilled one. I think this is about good enough for a podcast, especially as a filler one. Uh, we might do another filler one in soon, and it'll slot in somewhere. Um, we have a really cool other tier list. Yeah, if you guys have w- different ways of eating these fruits, like how I mentioned that, I don't know, if you eat a persimmon, it's really good with honey, cinnamon, five spice, and either clove or star anise powder, something like that, shit like that, share with us. I yeah. Know. I love eating fruit in different ways. And I think the first tier list we ever did was like Edmonton fast food. And we got a lot of shit for that. So we're like, fuck it. We're going to do more of these controversial tier lists. Yes. Uh, or strawberries. You just purely dip them in sugar. They're so fucking good. I mean, strawberries just amazing in general. But yeah, anyways, that that's why we want to do another tier list. I thought the tier list last time was pretty fun. And uh, I thought it was like an average podcast, but it feels like from the feedback, they really liked it and they really hated us for it. Like I got so much shit for it the next day. Like what? You guys, like Viv's never had a donair? I was like, oh man, <laughs> motherfucker, don't talk to me yeah, about that. Yeah, fuck donairs, guys. Uh, but anyways. It's messy, there's too much food and it just tastes like meh. I feel like most Southeast Asian people or just general Asian people would probably agree with our, they'll probably like three of our top five probably, I think. Yeah, most likely. Uh, but the rest might be controversial. Maybe they hate that we have all the currents at the bottom of <laughs> I've never had this. It's not even I've never had this. I feel like even if I had it, it's probably D, D it, tier. Yeah. yeah. Um, maybe if you're Middle Eastern, you uh, tasting that fruit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're if you know me and I know some of my Middle Eastern Arabic friends listen to this, uh, show me what's up with dates because I've always had shitty date. dates. Like, I, I've never had I've always had in soup. I want to eat it like as is with like. Arabic coffee or something like that and chocolate but uh, yeah show me what's up and yeah I guess the rest is just whatever I guess fruits are chilling and yeah I guess we'll have some other cool tier lists soon too we actually wanted to do two today but I think this is good enough for one podcast uh, the other one we want to do it looks really cool um, <laughs> it's related to, I won't even it's, say it. it's just it's really fucking dumb guys <laughs> no it's, it's fucking funny. amazing <laughs> it's uh, related to physical combat so you know just letting you guys know we'll we'll do that one next time um, but for now this is cool hope you guys we'll, we'll post this on our Instagram and I'll put the link to That's the sick. tier list below oh actually I'll save this right now so I don't fucking lose it download the image and then we'll uh, we'll show you guys what's up with our tier list for fruits. You guys can contradict us. You guys can tell us what's up. And yeah, as Viv said, hey, if you guys actually message us about this shit, tell us like your best way of eating your, this stuff. Yes. Because for me, most of the time, I just add salt. Like that's, I'm pretty basic. Fuck salt. Most fruits, I, I just add salt to add any salt. of my fruits. Dude, lime and salt's pretty good together. <laughs> and tequila, nah, nah, nah. Mm, delicious. Nah, nah, nah. Anyways. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see thanks. you guys on the next tier list. Eat your fruit and veggies, boys and girls. Yep. And then if you're hearing this, one of us is probably away. That's why we didn't do a dun, dun, recent dun. one. So yeah, one of us is doing our casting couch edition. Yeah, doing something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys. See you.